All right, just got done getting me some food around here. Got done killing some of my cows off. So let me drop this off here. And we can take a look at what we're doing today. So, uh, in the last video, I mentioned that there would be a... Uh, another way of making a mortar coming soon and these are it you can make one with sapphire which can be any color regular sapphire gem or you can make one with diamonds so it is not locked behind iron any longer um, they don't do anything different than the iron one does you don't get any uh, higher material that you can use it's just a different variant and I want to get into a little bit better way of making torches so we are going to make a resin sap bag we're actually gonna make a couple of them and we're gonna take them outside and put them on our rubber trees now I've already done that with one of them this one over here has been collecting for quite a while. And you'll see I've got nine resin in it. Where if I collect from one that doesn't have a bag, I only get one. So these can hold up to 64 resin per bag. And that will... Uh, make it to where you can collect more of them and you can get four torches from each one now eventually you'll be able to make rubber out of that but we're not quite there yet so for right now we're just going to collect the resin use it for torches and wait for the day that we can actually make rubber but we don't need rubber yet okay and the next thing we want to do today is I've been doing some cooking so I have some iron and we want to make a cauldron if I can spell which we all know I can't. Oh, it's a hammer, not a wrench. Should have known that. There we go. And we'll need a way of filling that. So we're going to need a bucket. And as you all know, a bucket is made out of iron. And I don't have much iron left. But we have wooden buckets. So we're going to make one of these. So we need a copper plate. Um, is that a regular hammer? Yeah. Okay, good. Regular hammer. And then we will need some wood. Put that down. Debark it. And that will give us three planks. And we can put these in here, and that gives us a wooden bucket. Now, the wooden bucket cannot pick up anything hot. Um, very simple fluids only. You can see the list of fluids right here that it can hold. So, water, um, sap. I'm still a little perturbed with Greg about the sap thing. Um, you won't actually be able to get it sap from your maple trees until you can get to electricity um which kind of stinks but uh for some reason you can hold it in there in this bucket even though you can't get it until later it'd be really nice if he to add a way that we can um use like a knife to put the hole in the tree but, eh. Alright. 
right, so the reason why we wanted the cauldron is so we can wash our ores. We're going to set this here. And we're going to get a bucket of water. But, oh, wait a minute. Is this seawater? Crap. Okay. I done messed up and forgot this is seawater. I need regular water because seawater doesn't work. I do have this I can use up for now. I'm going to get rid of that little pond anyways. Let me go get rid of the seawater. I do know where there's a river at too. There we go. And then we can just break the mixing bowl. And that gets rid of the seawater. Uh, do I have... I do. Okay. And I'm not real sure. This is actually the first time I've messed with um, the cauldron since Greg changed the rivers. So let's go see if I can even put river water in here. I know I can do it with this water, but water is finite. Supposed to be. I need to change that. So see, now I can get purified. And it'll take one out. But I don't want to do that right now. I need to change that in my config. That water should not come back. Let me go over here to the river and see if we can use the river water. Do this. Because Greg has just recently made the river water. I don't even know if we can get a bucket of it. River right next to this bay over here somewhere. I was actually thinking about building over here because there was a river there. Alright, this should be a river biome right here. Yep, river. Alright, so... Can we use this in the cauldron? Aha! Can. And you'll notice that the water did not go away and then come back. Um, that's because river water is infinite even if it is turned to finite because it's a river. And you'll see I'm getting little bits of gold dust, little bits of indium that was recently added for the nuclear stuff. I think we used to get cobalt. And there's little bits of spare light. Um... If we look up the recipe for this, uh, what that messed up. Hold on. So should be pyrite, cobalt, spare light, gold, cadmium, stantonite, indium. And that is what we should be getting. And you can just drop it in there now. This isn't like GT5 where if you drop the entire stack, it'll do the entire stack. It will only do three. And that's it. Because you are actually getting um, stuff off of it. All right, so there is early game washing of ores. So we can get a little bit of byproduct, and we also get that stone out of there that uh, is a pain in the butt. 
because you'll see now it says 1.25 chocolate pyrite instead of 1.125 chocolate pyrite and one stone. So we've gotten rid of that useless stone that clogs up all the crucibles. So it's nice that way. All right, and so next episode, we are going to work on semi-automating our crucible, or our cauldron, for washing. Uh, I just got done doing a bit of cooking up of cobalt. I went and got a bunch of it. From over there uh, so I can make some pickaxes and so I could have uh, some dark ash for um, making iron so in the next episode we're going to work on somewhat automating the cauldron so I will see you guys next time